Big boy time. Pet justice. Gary Busey's pet judge comes out of the gate hot in its first season, but does a dazzling performance by Gary Busey really make it the second coming of Christ? Yeah. Oh, here we go. I must say, I was a little hesitant with my initial watch of Gary Busey's Pet Judge. Found only on the Amazon Prime shelf when you scroll too far to the right, this Hallmark comedy drama ended up being a delight to behold. I had to burp because I just said something I liked. <laughs> I can't remember a show this good since Night Court. And while Gary Busey may not have the raw sexual energy of, say, a Ted Danson, Number one victory royale. I do believe Gary Busey confidently stakes his claim as the new titan of family comedy. You can feel my eyes coming into your goat. <laughs> For the uninitiated who might not know the deep lore, Gary Busey is a crazy old actor who did a lot of cocaine and went headfirst into a curb without a helmet. December 4th last year, I hit the concrete going 45 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. And I don't remember seven weeks of my life. I had blood shooting out this far. Jeez, it's a, it's a shame you didn't bring any photos, Gary. And thank God for us, Gary Busey pulled through and never stopped acting. Who do you even thank for giving us the gift of Gary Busey? Jesus. What's up, high top? What's poppin', playboy? Saving Gary Busey's life? You have me to thank for that. I knew it. I knew it. it had to be you. A lot of people forget his first movie was Angels Hard As They Come. Oh, I haven't seen that one yet. Is coincidentally also the name of my favorite porno. Jesus. JC out. Oh, God. I think that was a bit of an overshare. And while Gary Busey may not have gone on to do hit TV shows like Becker. Oh, I swear it's like looking into a damn mirror. He did end up winning UK's Big Brother. So, you know. In Pet Judge, Gary Busey plays a homeless man who has stumbled off the street and into a working courtroom. And everybody just sort of, you know, goes with it. So you put the turtles anus over the hole. Good. Notable also is the inclusion of the rapper turned actor Ice Cube. He and the bailiff play the role of pet judges Rosencrantz and Guildenstern, giving a wry wink to the audience when necessary. This scene has Busey talking to his childhood dog through a clairvoyant. Come on, Red. Come on. Bup, 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 bup. <laughs> Hi, Gary, it's Red. Here we have actor Lazarus Goudry playing a character ripped straight from the pages of Hawthorne or Hemingway. Did you know that soy milk is estrogenic? Now I do. A distraught man hell-bent on revenge because a dog trainer turned his Doberman Pinscher into a homosexual. You still have a dog, right? That's a bitch. Wow. There are no weak links in this cast, and Busey tantamount to genius. I would go on record to say Gary Busey's Pet Judge is the greatest show of our generation. Tomato butt plug creates all kinds of great sandwiches. Fuck, I, I can't do that. I can't do this anymore. I'm not reading this corporate IGN bullshit, okay? I'm done. I'm done. And you tell that Scientologist... What the fuck is... Oh, fuck. Oh, God damn it. Hey, it's Tom Cruise. Greatest movie star in the biz, actually. Go on, pinch yourself. I'm real. Oh, fuck. I pissed off Tom Cruise again. <laughs> hey, talk to me, high tops. Talk to me. <laughs> yep, I know. You're a very dangerous person. Completely fucked Katie Holmes' life up. That's right. I am dangerous. <laughs> fuck, he's going to do me like collateral. I feel the need. The need to remind you to take a big step back and literally fuck <laughs> your own face. <laughs> I am the future <laughs> of this fucking industry, so you better listen to me. Close. Okay, you better listen to me okay. real good. Right. And you think right, Ted yeah. Danson, that schmuck from Three Men and a Baby, is a better actor than Gary fucking Busey? Have you lost your fucking mind? Yeah. You know the history of Gary Busey, okay? I do. Sure. I studied him. You ever see The Firm, okay, which he co-starred with me? Have you been living under a fucking rock? Gary's a legend with all the right moves. He is a national fucking treasure, a saint, all right, all right. a wonderful person, and a damn fine actor. You know, Tom, I'm gonna go. You look upset. You never see me very upset, okay? Red light, green light. Okay. <laughs> Where was I? Not only is the actor who tried putting out a lit cigar on the neck of Howard Stern stunning in his role. Did he really do that? He was screaming, I love to. <laughs> what was it? I love the sound of Jewish screams. Mm -hmm. I think Hitler did too. <laughs> ah, fuck. I will say this about Gary, though. It seems like he loves animals. <laughs> yeah. I'm communicating with dog communication. Whether it be a goat. Come here, goat. <laughs> Little goat, goaty, goaty, goaty. Or a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> That's funky though. He never once in Pet Judge sounds like a complete fucking lunatic. Sometimes it's good to take corn chowder 
and pour it on your genitalia. And you know what? If we're comparing apples to oranges, fuck Ted Danson. He couldn't even get it up in the movie Amateurs. This crazy son of a bitch actually wrestled an 800 pound black bear back in the 80s. He found out while filming he was deeply allergic to bear saliva. He said he lost like 30 pounds that day wrestling that thing. <laughs> We'll be right back. Say what you will about Busey, but he is one crazy bastard. Yeah, and uh, is that dangerous? God, I guess so. It could be. Yeah. Come on, did Ted Danson ever do that? The closest thing to a bear Ted Danson ever got was wrestling George Wentz's career on Cheers. How is that? Is that working for you? What, uh, you need uh, some joke writers, though. Hey, keep it swayzy, George. Cheers. At 76 years old, Barry Goosey is at the top of his game. We give Pet Judge our highest score, a 5 out of 5 dancing heads, and it gets the most prestigious honor of showing a PNG of Ted Danson on a bird scooter with a full chub. Court adjourned. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Now, for more movie and TV reviews, check out what we thought about Ted Danson's erotic performance in Mr. Mayor. As a public figure, you don't want to get memed. Buy drugs now! And be sure to subscribe to TDN if you'd like to see Ted Danson's 73-year-old shirtless body. Oh, are you kidding me? He's here? Gary Busey, everybody! Hello there. <laughs> this is for the good people of the world from High Tops. That's great. You're laughing, L-A-U-G-H. Brings joy, it lightens the world, it lightens you up, it's fun. Abuse isn't for fun, F U N. Finally, understanding nothing. That's nothing but laughter. Because when you're walking down the street with a group of people all around you that you don't know and you smile at them first, they pick up the feelings that they are your good friend before you said you're my friend. We keep loving our hearts, then we're loving. And love came from heaven, and love is still there, and love is here. It's called giving love. You guys are heroes of mine, too, because of what you're doing in the world for people that you're doing it for. Never underestimate the spirit and keep it up, because it's your mark of power and the purpose you were given when you were born. Okay, see you later. Ah, God, I love this crazy son of a bitch. Well, all right there, high tops. First of all, I gotta ask you to respect your elders, my friend. On the subject of Ted and my dad, I, I would say if you're comparing Gary Busey to Ted Danson, you're you're comparing a Cadillac to a rock crawler. Chat later. <laughs>